Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Hope you guys are having an awesome day. We are continuing Space Exploration and Crastorio 2. It's been um, a few days since I have been able to play, but had quite a busy schedule recently. Um, <clears throat> but we are continuing uh, to expand our space base, and of course we're probably going to have to do something about uh, Vulcanite here very shortly. Um, but I'm hoping that I can at least get this um, astronomic science shooting at something apparently um hopefully get this astronomic science all finished up <clears throat> so let's see uh where we're at so we have yet to do insight um and after we do insight then of course we have to do the significant data simulations um which means that we're gonna have to do energy insight as well uh, because we're gonna want to start at least by doing this astroparticle simulation um so basically what we're gonna do in this episode is i'm going to try and finish off um, doing both the astronomic and broad astronomic catalogs. And then I'm going to use those uh, to make insight. So basically how we're going to do this is, um, obviously we're not going to do insight with just the basic catalog. We're going to do it with um, both catalogs. So we actually get more insight out of it. So this, you get two insight out, um, but here you get eight. So obviously this is much better. And as we continue and we, um, you know, progress into further and further um, catalogs, we'll of course get more and more insight from each one. Um, then we're gonna have to start on um, a block for doing the astroparticle simulation. And I know that I had mentioned previously that I was thinking of doing junk data card processing down here. Um, I'm not sure that I wanna do that because um, we are gonna have science like right down here. And I don't know how much junk, card, junk data card processing I'm going to have to do. Um, let, let me look at this. This is supposed to be for um, contaminated scrap. So contaminated scrap comes in here, right? And I don't know how much room we're gonna have to both import and export um, junk data cards as well as do all of our Im science importing because right now, you know, we only have th these science packs, but we're still gonna have four other types of science packs. Actually a total, uh, well, actually maybe even more than that once we get to deep space science. So that's gonna be like a total of uh, 16, 20 extra science packs that are gonna have to come in here. And obviously we'll be able to use multiple trains, but I think that we may need extra room for trains in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have, um, I think what we'll do is we'll have one um, block reserved for doing the simulations and for junk data card processing. I think that'll work out nicely, especially because both of those processes uh, put out blank data cards. And so then we'll be able to just ship those over here um, or even just put them into the network on their own. I'm not exactly sure how I want to do that, but either way, um, probably, probably ship them over here and put them back into, um, you know, our, our, uh, our chests here. Um, so that is the plan and let's get to work on it. I know a lot of talking, now let's do stuff, right? Um, so to start off, we obviously, um, we need to finish this off, this off over here. So let's see, we got, um, we need two more astrometrics facilities. Um, we need all of these pipes. We need super cooled thermal fluid, which we finished off last time um, to come in for um, all of our microwaves and this X-ray telescope. We need blank data cards. Um, and that will actually get us through all of these, um, all of these observation uh, datas. Then we're gonna have to do uh, this multispectral um, astrometric analysis, um, which is going to combine all of them uh, uh, together with blank data cards to get out astrometric data. And then we still have to make um, the gravitational lensing and gravity wave data, um, which is going to be uh, using the astrometric data. Um, so we need gravimetrics and laser facilities for those. And then after we've done all of that, so maybe it won't be just this episode, I'm not sure. Um, then we can make both the broad astronomic catalog as well as the astronomic catalog. So we have to make all these data cards still. We, yeah, we have a, we have a bit to do <laughs> to say the least. Um, so let's get on it. Uh, first I'm going to grab um, some of these pipes to finish off um, getting stuff ready for the, uh, um, what, what are they called? All the, uh, I can't think of words right now. All the telescopes, thank you. 
all the telescopes and things like that. Let's grab half of these, I don't know. Um, and then let's also grab, um, let's see. I'm gonna grab just some basic pipes here. And then, I don't know. Yeah, We're, I don't have any more room in my inventory anyway. So let's just use what we have now and then we'll go from there. Um, oh, let's, before I do that, let's uh, actually put down, I grabbed a bunch of locomotives. Um, let's put these down over here um, for our thermal fluid. Okay, so we've got the uh, fluid wagons all set up now. These can carry quite a bit and, okay, I, I don't know what is supposed to go in here. Like, why is there so many, why are there so many slots in this? Like, what, what equipment would you put in to a wagon? Tell me, please. I'm looking at this, this equipment and I am utterly confused. Now, and you can't even put anything in there. <laughs> oh, wait, you can. Okay, so what, if people know the answer to this, what on earth do you put in these? Like, do you put, um, like these advanced electric engines? Ex increases max speed and acceleration? I guess maybe. Maybe we can start making some of these um, electric engines and put them in our, put them in our, uh, what's it called, locomotives. And you know what you can probably do? You can probably use, ooh, uh, novice. Okay, good, good to know. Um, you know what you probably can do, which I haven't done yet, is you can use equipment gantry, which is a mod. And I think that you could like, when you're crafting these, you could put the equipment in before you even get it. So that way when you place it, it already has all the equipment that you want in it. I think that's how it works. I don't actually know because I've not tested or used it at all yet, but that's uh, the theory anyways. Um, so we're, th we're full up on thermal fluid pretty much everywhere except for cool thermal fluid. Uh, working on that, I guess. Um, do we have some speed modules to speed this up? Let's speed this up really quickly. Um, obviously this is, I think, the... Uh, uh, the bottleneck here, so let's just quickly speed this up. And let's see, do we have more that need it? Yep, here. Okay, I think that's all of them. Um, so hopefully that'll help some. Obviously, uh, we can expand this out this direction to do more. I kind of, <laughs> I kind of didn't leave myself that much room um, to do another one of these builds, but I think we could maybe do another one sideways. In fact, let's. Let's just see how nicely this fits here. It does fit kind of nicely, doesn't it? Like you can easily fit another one, but that'll be for another time. Uh, we will do do that at some point probably, and we'll probably have to do another one of these biochem facilities um, actually making the thermal fluid because we're a little bit slow right now. Um, but okay, so uh, let's put all these pipes down over here. Um, and looks like these are expecting uh, level two modules. We obviously have level three modules, so they're a little bit better, um, not much, uh, but can't fit that many in here, but that's okay. Um, all right, we need blank data cards. Blank data cards, we are going to have a little station, and I don't have a station, do I? Shoot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna grab the station, flip it around, uh, let's see. <sighs> These things drive me a little bit nuts, because they don't line up correctly. I really should just like make some nice blueprints. Um, I haven't so far, but I should. And look at just look at all these stupid signals here. Like we don't need 18 signals to do one thing, right? Uh, we just need uh, this signal and this signal and I mean, uh, we'll put one more right here. But I think that's fine. We we don't we don't need this signal either. And this one doesn't even work. <laughs> Um, okay, we can't even put a signal there. Anyways, let's put a chain signal here and here actually, so that way um, it's gonna wait to go this direction if it need if it needs to. Uh, let's also remove this one signal. Okay, that's better. Um, if you don't know anything about signals and are uh, needing some help on that, I do have a video explaining um, how to use signals, chain signals, etc. Um, and even still, I mess them up sometimes, uh, so I may not get things exactly right. Um, but for the most part, I can debug issues and you know figure things out when needed. Um, definitely not perfect, and doing things on the fly like this without too much thought can lead me astray at times. But um, am I missing a platform here? That's why I can't put it down. I guess okay. I guess that's the first forward I can put it. All right. So let's do this. Let's uh, let's see over here. So this is 
train stop. What color is this? All 255, okay. All right, so this is gonna be like this. Do, do, do. And this is gonna be, of course, this drop, number two. And let's see. Once the train gets here, we are going to tell it just to hold up and uh, we're gonna switch it to manual. Uh, let's see, so at the drop, it's, oh, it's gotta be told to wait, gotcha. Or it's gotta be told to leave, okay, okay, that's cool. So we can do that really quickly, so let's see. Um, how do we do this over here? Let me just, you know what, I should probably just like copy, paste. Copy, paste. Right, there we go. Uh, let's see. All right, so this is gonna drop off 400. I. Th uh, let's switch this to like 800 because we're gonna have quite a few needs here. Um. And maybe I should like actually work on the station to make it a little bit better. Like I should have maybe um, like a, a constant combinator doing numbers and stuff like that, but that's all right. Uh, no path issue, okay. Um, wondering why it is getting no path from here. It should be able to, you should be able to get anywhere. Like it should be able to come down here. Oh, it can't. Are you serious? It can't get there? It, I will admit that these train tracks are a little bit confusing at times. Like, okay, so this, he can only go straight here or turn this way. So he could go this way and then turn down here. I am uh, definitely always a little bit confused by how these train tracks work exactly. My brain just like cannot wrap itself around. So let, give me a minute to debug this and then I uh, will be right back. Okay, so I've worked out the path that it definitely needs to take, right? So how it has to go is it has to come out here, right? It has to come this way, has to come down, over, down, around, and back, right? So here's my theory. Uh, this track right here actually is not allowing you to turn this direction, which means that this train will never be able to go that way, which means that it's actually kind of stuck. Um, so like this, Something is up with, like, you can kind of see it. Like, this track looks fine. This track, visually, you can tell that it's, like, a little bit off, right? So, like, if we look at this, yeah. I think that you can't turn this way, which kind of stinks. Um, which means I have one of two options, right? Uh, option one, which is the one I'm going to go with, is I'm just going to pick everything up. And I'm going to throw it back in here. I'm going to pick all this stuff up. And then I'm going to manually back this up, tell it to go back to the pickup, right? Like go back to pickup. So yeah, 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 that's the issue for sure, right? So what really just needs to happen is um, this station just needs to move down a little bit. Oops, uh, let's see. Here's the station, right? Um, this just needs to like move down so let's uh, shoot. Hold on. Let me let me pull this down really quickly. So this needs to come here. This needs to come here as well. Uh, this is like the first full track off of it, right? So this needs to be more like instead of like this, it needs to be more like this. Hopefully, hopefully that makes sense. Why that is the case? Mm -hmm. um, like hopefully I did a good job explaining that. Um, but basically, it like couldn't go that way, so it couldn't actually make it back. Um, okay, I need to get rid of that stuff, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Okay, okay. Now, uh, we can paste this train stop down here. And, um, this should, uh, <laughs> once I fix this, um, this should fix our issues, right? Um, so this coming comes here, get rid of that. And then we needed, um, hello. Oh shoot, I, I wasn't flying in my jetpack. Okay, we need that and that. Okay, 
Now we should have the train here. Obviously, I got to fix these stupid numbers again. Um, but let's see, eight hundred. Okay, so that should fix the issue, right? Like these, this should fill up, and then once it's done, it should be able to go. So we're at 600, 700, and it should be able to get back. Yep, there it goes. Okay, perfect. So we've got our we've got our blank data cards now, which we've been needing for a while. Let's shrink this down here, and we are just gonna uh, do a single path here for these uh, data cards. It doesn't line up exactly, but it's fine. It's fine. We will just uh, have to deal with it the way it is. There we go. All right, that's blank data cards. Uh, still need those astrometrics facilities. Um, these things need blank observation frames, obviously, but we need to finish the rocket down on Novice for that to happen, right? So gotta wait for that still. Uh, let us throw some of these in here. Uh, shoot, uh, let's see here. There we go, that should power that, there we go. Um, so we need all this stuff coming up. Yeah, that's beryllium. I, I thought for a second it was supposed to be iridium, but it's not. Um, iridium, I don't think we're, are we using iridium? I thought, I think we're using iridium for something. Oh yeah, for these, we need this. We, still, we still need to make these um, multispectral mirrors that we haven't even started yet. Great, um, let's see. I think I put the um, request in correctly. Yes, I did. Uh, when I say co co uh, request incorrectly, I mean correctly put in, not incorrectly put in. Um, anyways, uh, let's see this. So I guess we can make that, right? So this needed um, just one space manufacturer doing it. Uh, we need 13 a minute, so that's like basically nothing. And let's see, it's going to make scrap, so we're going to have to deal with that here shortly. We are going to import chemical gel, I think we had said. Gosh, I hate having to deal with the chemical gel, but that's okay. It's all right. Uh, so let's see. I guess we'll do... Well, wait, where does this go again? This goes into uh, the X-ray telescope. So the X-ray telescope's actually over here. Hold up. Let's put these back in here, and then we're gonna put the lube barrels actually over this direction. So put the lube barrels over there right um and then let's also put in here can't find things there it is okay uh the low density structures over here and let's see glass and iridium glass is here i will put iridium in, uh ingots we're bringing up ingots not plates so we're gonna have to turn them into plates up here all right and then just clear that okay I think that's everything, right? Uh, we have lube, yeah, we have all these, except for the um, gel, which we're gonna have to deal with shortly. All right. Uh, maybe like, I don't know. Maybe like right over here. I mean, it's gonna be pretty, uh, we only have to do one thing, right? So here, Shoot, I'm just trying to figure out where the best place is. I, I want to leave some room for this, like just in case, right? Okay, here's glass coming out. All right, so that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna have to do lube, of course. So this is gonna be, oh man, I'm not even handling these barrels yet, shoot. And we don't need steel for anything either. So we're gonna have to like do something about the barrels. I don't know what exactly yet, but something. Ah, all right, so this is obviously gonna turn um, iridium plates into uh, ingots, or I mean ingots into plates, the other way around, right? Uh, let's see, iridium ingots. And these, these should actually be switched uh, so that the belts don't have to cross. Okay, so here we go. So this is gonna actually do the lube unbarreling, empty the lubricant barrel, and we'll just do a pipe like this. Obviously, like I said, we'll have to deal with um, 
you know, all the barrels, unfortunately, but it'll work. Uh, let's see, this is of course going to be the multispectral mirrors with Iridium. And let's switch that, there we go, very nice. Uh, we're gonna have to get chemical gel in down here, but that's fine. Uh, let's do a stack inserter here for the Iridium plates. And then let's see, we also need to do two more things. We need to do low densities, which is here. Actually, low densities, we have Iridium. Da, 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 da. Okay, we actually don't need to do two more things. We just need to do this. Uh, we'll have that come in right down here. There we go. All right. So that's everything except for um, the chemical gel that has been dealt with, and we also haven't dealt with barrels yet. <sighs> um, so options with barrels, uh, number one is we could turn it into steel and then ship it back to a central location, which is probably what we'll end up doing. We don't want to really ship it around as barrels because uh, they stack in so few. So we probably want we do, probably do want to turn it back into steel, but we'll deal with that here in a second. Um, finally, this does create scrap, unfortunately. Um, so we're gonna have to deal with that. So let's do this. This is gonna be scrap. And this is gonna be the mirrors out, if I can find them. There we go, mirrors. And this is gonna come down here. And of course, let's try and use um, this, our belts wisely. Okay. Uh, There we go. That is gonna be the um, mirrors in here, right? We have blank observation frames here. We need the super cooled stuff, obviously, but that's fine. Uh, we'll deal with that here very quickly. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that looks good. Okay. Um, so we need, um, let's grab some, oh geez, what do we got over here? I need one of these. or two, let's do two, just, you know, just to be safe. Um, and then I wanted to make, oh, I need another um, space manufactory. So let's grab one of those. And let us try and make some, um, what are they called? These astrometrics facilities, what do we need? Oh, we need red circuits up here. Shoot, man, we don't have red circuits. Oh wait, I have, a, I have some. I'm gonna need a bunch of these. Uh, let's do, I think that's maybe good. I don't know. Hopefully it's good. Um, all right, so let's do that. Let's place those down over here. Now, I have to check one more thing. Was I, oh, all these were beacon and moduled, okay. Okay, let's beacon and module all these as well. I can't believe I forgot to do that. And unfortunately, I don't think that this is gonna work out very nicely in terms of, oh my gosh, that is nice. Uh, that is not nice. What is going on over here? Is power screwed? No. What happened here? Oh, a meteor, I think. Yeah, a meteorite hit. Ooh. I don't really have any meteorite defense on this planet. You know, I really should make my plant, my outposts a little bit more robust than I do. Um, for the most part, they're very um, bare bones and not very self-sufficient in, in terms of different things like that, um, which maybe I should do a better job about. Um, it's definitely one of my uh, 
one of the downsides of the way I've done things so far. That being said, this this planet for sure needs, needs to do a little bit better because um, we need to mine all of this Vulcanite. Like, we definitely want this Vulcanite, right? Um, and we're going to need this Iridite at some point too, right? Like, this Iridite's going to run out, so we're going to need this Iridite. That's just stone. You know, so we're going to have to do some more work here for sure in the future, but... Let's not worry about that too much right now. Um, that that fits very nicely though, That the fact that it hits both of those. Unfortunately, this is gonna have to be by itself, but that's, it is what it is. And then these two should be able to be hit from here, yeah. Um, so that's all good. Uh, these obviously I already all, I got all those, so those are all good. Um, let me, do we need anything else besides what's here? Let me just double check what we have set in here, right? We have, oh my gosh, I, I'm sending up ber beryllium ingots, right? But this is uh, expecting plates, so we need to switch that. I can't believe I missed that earlier somehow. So let's switch that to plates. Now what? Okay, that's fine. Uh, this is gonna have to do ingots. And we're gonna have to put one of these here, which is fine. Um, this is just going to switch the ingots into plates, so that'll be good. Um, and I'm sure that it'll go f fast enough, right? Hopefully, at least. Um, but I was going to say, let's maybe send up a rocket with some of this stuff. So let's see where this, I was going to see where this was at um, in terms of getting all of its requests filled. All right, I see a lot of arrow frames. I see no... Iridium ingots though. And that's because this stupid thing is not a requester. So I can't turn it into a requester right now because I don't have um, requesters being made down there. But what I can do, <clears throat> excuse me, is I can put it into a passive provider like this. And that'll work just fine, right? Um, so let's do that. And let's quickly limit this to one row. And let me just double check, uh, what else does this not have? I don't think it had beryllium, yeah, yeah. No beryllium ingots. That's because there are no beryllium ingots. Is this belt messed up again, man? All right, where am I? No rocket. No rocket. Okay, there's no rocket over here, which is a little bit weird. There should be a rocket, let me check. Novice, see what's up. This should be launch on green signal when fuelful. Why is this not going? That's what I would like to know. Why is this just sitting here? Like, this looks correct. This... Do we not have enough rocket parts? We don't have enough rocket sections. That is not good um, because we make rocket sections with beryllium. And so let me see, we have 48 here and we had a handful in the, in the belt already. We have seven, so that's a total of, I'm just trying to calculate if I send the rocket right now, will it succeed or fail. Unfortunately, we have two rocket sections in here that are not being used. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. Check this out. Actually, do we have requesters here? We do have requesters here. Check this out. Okay, ready? We're going to deconstruct this. We are going to put a requester right here. Okay. We are going to put rocket section Come on, rocket section. There we go. Gonna filter, rocket section. There we go. Okay. Nice. Um, how many rocket sections do we have? A handful, clearly. Okay, so up to 13. And then we're gonna put um, our assembly machine back. Doing the packing, right? So we're gonna do the packing. And so we have 13. And over here on novice, we had 48. 
So 13 plus 48 is 62, or 61, I can math, 61, um, plus, let's just double check really quickly what our rocket reusability is. So we're gonna get minimum of 42. All right, so we have to get incredibly unlucky to not have enough. And we have an extra five if we really need it. So let's see if we can do this. I think I'm just gonna tell it to launch and hope that, uh, it has enough. In the meantime, uh, let's continue building here. Um, so we have a couple things that we do need to do. Uh, we need to get some stations coming in here. Obviously, we're gonna have to deal with um, thermal fluid. We're gonna have to deal with uh, thermal fluid. We have to deal with um, chemical gel, right? So we still have to make a station doing chemical gel. We have to do scrap out. We have to do junk data cards out, I think, right? Or no? No, the junk data cards come in. Where did they come in? Oh, no, they do come in here. Shoot, okay. That's fine, that's fine, it's fine. Um, all right, let's try and do this gravimetrics facility and laser facility. So these are gonna be doing the gravitational lensing and the gravity wave data stuff. Okay, uh, laser facility, huh? Do I even have a laser facility? No, I have the gravimetrics facilities though, which look freaking sweet. Um, so let's see, where can we put these? And what do they use again? <laughs> There's so many things, man. These these uh, processes are nuts. Okay. Uh, oh, it takes in astrometric data. So we gotta make the astrometric data first, which is one facility that is combining all five of these. Got it. Okay. So I haven't put any, I haven't like exported any of these yet. And I guess we're gonna come over here to do it. Are we? Yeah. Yeah. I think we're gonna come over here and do it. And let's move this just a little bit because in the future we can have the other experiments happen over here-ish. We'll have our stations down here ish. And then we can have like the final bit bits of um, like insight and things happening over here. So that's fine, I think. All right, so this is gonna do this. This is combining all five plus blank data cards. So we're gonna have to split off blank data cards here. Uh, let's see here. All right. Stack inserter, throw in some blank data cards. And then we have to deal with exporting all of these and like splitting them and stuff like that. So let's see, uh, let's export both of these. Uh, let's do these first actually. So right here and here. Now the question is, do we want them to share a belt? I think it's fine, right? Like they're all gonna go to the same places. So these two are gonna go to one catalog and to this, and that's it. So yeah, they can share a belt, I think. Although, how many a minute are we making? Just need to make sure that they'll actually fit on a belt. 55 a minute. They will not work. Oh wait, yeah, they will. <laughs> that's a second, not a minute. I'm, I am dumb, okay. This is fine. All right, so that's one, two things. And let's line it up like right down here. There we go. I'm really, really liking these uh, space loaders, if you couldn't tell. And I'm really uh, wishing that I use loaders more often. Um, it is nice for when you have like one building doing things. It's a little bit more messy when you have multiple buildings, but um, okay. So we need to export this building as well. This will not be sharing a belt. Uh, let's go right down, right down here, I think. Okay, a little bit messy, but it's fine. And then last but not least, uh, these are right next to each other. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll have it come across right down here, pass on the outside of this um, beacon, right? 
and then they're going to come right like this and split a belt. There we go. Okay. And then this is going to come right down here. Oop, that is not what I want to do. Let's uh, turn that in, right? So that they don't mix. And then we'll do this. Obviously, I'm going to have to split these belts uh, to go to um, other kinds of data, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, that th Those are going to go to the different catalogs then, right? Uh, but this is doing the astrometric data, which is good. Astrometric data then is going to come out. I'm going to need more um, belts and more undergrounds. Okay, so let's grab belts and uh, then we'll get going here. Let me grab those. All right, uh, do we need undergrounds? We got 30 left, I think that's enough for now. Let's grab half of those, and then a bunch of belts. I don't know. All right, inventory is somehow still full, um, even though I've been placing stuff down. Uh, we also have no like no more platform that we definitely need. <sighs> All right, um, so we're gonna need to split this, obviously, uh, and not even, not evenly either, but that's fine. So we'll do one section here, right? Is this gonna work, man? How are we gonna... Okay, these can actually go out. Okay, this is fine. All right, so let's have our splitter here. One is gonna go to the laser facility. That's gonna do part of it, right? You know what? We, why, are we, why are we doing a splitter? We can just grab off the same belt. It's fine. So we'll just have a laser facility over here, and let's put that. Let's put a blueprint of it down, right? Um, just so we can kind of see what's up. So we'll have a laser facility like right here, I suppose. And let's see. Uh, we're gonna have inserter, inserter, and we'll do one one inserter down here. Actually, we'll do two inserters down here because this, this needs more. Do export and export. And um, these all need modules, but no beacon. Okay, so module, module. And I think that'll be good. Um, so we just need to make a laser facility, I think, right? What does this need? 10 laser turrets. I don't have laser turrets up here, man. It's fine. Um, let's keep going though. We need to do research servers still, which I don't have. I need to do laser laser facility, which I don't have. But I think that's, <clears throat> excuse me, I think that's everything else, right? So we just need to deal with like imports and exports. Um, so I think down here what we'll do is we'll have, let's go right here. And then we'll have this come right across like this. And we'll just have a bunch of stations. And then each of the stations will like go out onto the main line on their own. Now the question here is, come on. The question here is, is did I leave enough room to do one, um, one two stations? Probably not, right? Yeah, definitely not. Shoot. All right, so we're gonna have to move this back a little bit. Let me just cut this, paste it down like, I don't know. Right here, maybe? Um, and then just have this come up here. And then this, oops. All right, let's see how big these stations can get, right? Uh, we need platform here. Yes, this should work. Yeah, yeah, this will work for sure. Okay, cool. So <clears throat> I'm gonna work on getting a bunch of stations set up here. And um, then once I have done that, I will be right back. All right, everyone. So I finished off a bunch of stations here, um, which I think we actually are going to need all of them. Um, so let me just run through what I've got um, planned out, okay? So we've got cool thermal fluid, cold thermal fluid, gel, um, scrap, junk data cards, 
uh, insights and what's the last thing? Significant data. I think I hit it all. Scrap, yeah, yeah, all right. Oh shoot, I need, do I need one more? I think I need one more for warm thermal fluid going out. Let's see, can we fit one more in here? Kind of, yeah. Just need to move this signal. Um, and may need to adjust that one. Okay, it's a little bit cramped in here. I think that's like 10 stations or something like that, um, which is pretty freaking nuts, but I think that is good. I'm pretty sure that's all. I can maybe fit like one more station if I squeeze these together if I need to. But I think that's it. So we've got, um, wait, cool thermal fluid is a byproduct? Oh my God, we need to pick up cool thermal fluid too? <laughs> Holy crap, okay. Wait, I got, what the, so this takes in super cooled, but puts out warm, and this takes in super cooled, but puts out cool. What? That is annoying. So I have to have a whole extra station? The question is, is can I fit what I need to in here? Or is this better? It's gonna be a tight fit. I don't think I can. Shoot, man. Um, maybe I'll do like one extra little station like right down here for something else. I don't know, man. That is a little crazy. Plus, I oh, shoot, man. I And I also forgot that I have to do the other station that's like very important to this, which is, you know, actually the science packs that we're trying to make coming out. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. So clearly got a little bit of work to do still um, in terms of trains. Now, um, we can start hooking some of this stuff up. I have a little bit of extra platform here that we can, um, start to build some of these out, right? So let's start with this one. This one, uh, let's see, what, what, what do I want to have come in here? Um, let's do cold and then super cooled thermal fluid, right? So this is going to be, um, cold drop. Okay. And we'll figure out colors later, I suppose. This is gonna do um, super cooled drop. Okay, then this other, oh shoot, these trains are, have double wagons of fluid, huh? Okay, so we have one, Shoot, I need more platform here. Dang it. Uh, why, did, why does this look confusing? Oh my gosh, does this not fit in here? Surely this fits. We're about to find out. Let's, let's see what happens when I hook up a train here. If this doesn't fit, I'm gonna be a little bit peeved. Oh my gosh, it doesn't, can it go here? That's what I wanna know. Or is this like just slightly on a curve? And so it's like, yeah, no, we can't do it. No can do. <laughs> it doesn't hook up, man. Can I move this forward at all? Probably not. Oh my gosh. Do I really have to move this whole section back like one? I think I do. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go fix this section. Okay, all right, so I moved it back just a little bit, not much, just a little bit. And as you can see, we now have this um, being uh, able to export all its fluid, which is exactly what we want. We're gonna go directly into two tanks. There we go. Let's hook these up with pipes. And then uh, we are just going to, I think copy, oh shoot, I need a station here still. We're gonna copy paste this um, with the tiles. Um, and we're gonna do this a couple times. So we need one, so that's cool, super cool. We'll have to fix station names here, that's fine though. 
Um, we're going to need to do a gel station. Um, warm station. I think that's fine. And then all these can be belted. I am pretty sure. All right, let me grab, um, let's go grab, I suppose, some more scaffold. We have a little bit of room now in our inventory with which to grab, which is good. Um, let's see, a couple hundred scaffold. Okay, we got like 700 scaffold. That should definitely help us out here. Hopefully I can fit what I need to in, inside these little areas. It's gonna be a little bit of a tight fit, but we're gonna do our best. All right, let's paste these down again. Boom. And we can pick these up. These are all extra. Okay. Very nice. All right, so that is exactly what we want here. And let's also pick this up. All right, so we've got our stations here. Um, obviously, we're gonna have to do some piping. So if we can just do like single file all the way up, or at least close to it, I can't really draw straight lines very well, but um, this will give us uh, room to put piping down uh, going into or out of our little setup. Also, this is really gonna annoy me if these four are here. So I'm just gonna pick them up. Um, yeah, and then these are gonna be doing the scrap out, junk out, significant data in, insight out. And I think that's it. We've already got the blank data cards coming in, right? So I think we'll be good here with um, these. The only other station that we're gonna need is a station that brings in uh, cool thermal fluid, or sorry, takes out cool thermal fluid. And I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna work, right? Like this, I didn't even factor in the fact that we needed to have cool out. Um, maybe I need to like have this train not fill all the way up. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. But, uh, all right, I think that, that that is where I'm gonna call it for today's episode. Um, we basically are there uh, on pretty much all fronts. We just need to get this laser facility done, um, which it's very close. It's got the right inputs, it just needs to output. Um, and I also need to make research servers to do all of the catalogs and then um, Hmm, I didn't do insight here. Oh my gosh, is that gonna throw literally all of my calculations off if I do insight? It probably is. It's probably gonna like make everything need more, isn't it? Oh my goodness, I didn't even think of that, man. How did I not put that on there? It's gonna be like, you need to do 18 extra things. Uh, this needs to move up more. Oh no. Oh no, it changes all my numbers. This I think will be fine if I just add, oh my gosh, how did I not do that? Now I need like nine telescopes. Oh my gosh, I need like nine of these. This still is at one. This is still at one, this is, my goodness. I It actually screws up all of my calculations because these now need two for each of them instead of one shoot man ah all right i'm probably gonna do all that rework off camera that's a lot of rework oh my goodness that's such a dumb mistake too i didn't even think of the insight um for some reason i just thought it was already in there and yeah um so we can do one of two things we can ignore it and only output you know less than 40 each which not the end of the world, as long as we can just get something going. Um, eventually, you know, all the we'll get through all the research, right? So not too, too worried about if it's a little bit slower, but man, does that suck that I'd have to add like one, two, three of these, four, four, five of these, right? Um, I need to add another gravimetrics facility. 
and then I would need to add, um, like how many of these telescopes do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven each. This one would need two more, two more, and one more. Which maybe it's possible. Maybe I just like cut, cut this stuff and like paste it like slightly lower and then just add onto the end here, which is possible. Um, and it could even do for these microwave telescopes, which also would need, <laughs> uh, this needs nine now. I only have six, so I need like one, two, three more here. <laughs> Um, which is totally possible, I suppose. Um, just be a little bit annoying. So I might have to fix that off camera. I think that seems like a lot of work just to do right here, uh, especially since we've already set it all up. But that is going to be it for today's episode, guys. <laughs> it is taking way longer than I had hoped, but we are super close now. You know, we've got our tanks set up. We've got um, all of our stations pretty much ready to accept. We've got our blank data cards finally, and the final straw will probably be next episode. I just have to get some resources to be able to make these research servers, which I don't have currently. Also need to be able to make this laser facility, which I can't currently. And then I have to do a little bit of rework on some of these other things. A lot of stuff to go into this, man. Uh, it doesn't look like that impressive of a build, but there's just a lot of little details that we got to worry about um, for all sorts of resources coming in. And I'm kind of happy that there aren't any resources up here yet because we don't have to deal with, you know, moving them and stuff like that. So that is going to be it for today. As I've said, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, and I will see you all on the next episode.